I will light up the screen. So I will start the game. I should turn on the sound, huh? I loved, uh, you know, Nintendo and games. And when the Game Boy came out in the United States, I bought a whole bunch of them for my kids and a bunch of their friends. And this was the new hot game and it came with Tetris. And I started trying to play, I couldn't understand it. So my young son taught me, oh, what a Tetris is, how you get lines. I didn't even know the rules of the game. Oh my gosh, I started playing it and got a little skill. And I don't know, it's hard to uh, describe exactly what I'm doing in words. I know, my head knows what I'm doing. Wow, I was getting some good scores. And after a while, I was getting better scores than all my friends. And then I started sending my scores into Nintendo Power Magazine. And I always had the high score in the country. And then one time they, they didn't want to print my name anymore. I'd been in so often that I actually spelled my name backwards and forgot I'd done it. And the next month I saw it in there and got scared that somebody else had a high score. Here comes my first Tetris. Beep. When I go to concerts, very often for, for 20 some years, I'd sit next to my friend Robert. He and I would have a link cable between us and we would play Tetris the entire concert because our ears can hear the music. I'm in very serious trouble at the moment. I'm gonna find out if I can escape this one. Tetris piece helps. Why do I stick with the game point? You know, I got so good at it and I love playing it. And when I try it on a computer, it's different keys. I'd have to relearn it a bit. You know, I, I, I don't like being very, very good at one, one format and then I really can't carry over to the others. Kind of shallow to say it, but it's, that's how it is. In my whole life, I have played Tetris so much it might be called my favorite. It kind of fits a mathematical mind too. Now I've got a big, a big deep hole in here that I'm going to be thinking about, thinking about, thinking about and starting to ditch out of it already. And I can get into quite a bit of trouble that people think there's no way you can get out of that. I did a lot of Russian US peace efforts so I would be invited to shows where Gorbachev was at, for example. Right next to Gorbachev would be sitting the developer of Tetris. And I gave Gorbachev, once when he was sitting next to the guy, I gave him a, a Game Boy wrapped in red, a US Game Boy with Tetris. Yeah, so I, but I was, I was too shy to ever talk directly to the programmer. I just thought of it two times in my life, once for Gorbachev and once for Bush. I gave him one wrapped red, white, and blue at a special meeting I had with him. And about a week later, he was in the hospital um, with a heart, some kind of heart ailment. And they showed him on our Channel 11 News in San Francisco, and they showed him in one magazine that I saw him playing the Game Boy in his hospital bed. And so it had to be mine. <laughs> you know, it's just so incredible to look onto a simple game so new that just grabs people forever. How many classic games that are gonna be with us forever came about in our life? Not very many. Now, I've met people that can play better than I do. But in my time frame, when they kept track in Nintendo Power Magazine, I always had the high score, and I'm very proud of that. Okay, I'm still alive at least, but... No, I love it. Okay. All righty.